I'm Ron and I'm back again, you know, already with another RSR, but it's not really an RSR. It's me just talking more about a Toronto FC offseason move. So it's more of an offseason thing, but whatever. You know what it is. If you're a fan, if you're not, well, you probably know anyway. Michael Bradley is staying a Toronto FC player for three years plus a player option. We really don't know what the way the option kicks in if it's just him saying i want to say him sta saying i want to stay one more year we have to win the cup in his third season to stay for him to stay if it like it was this time but he stays 1.5 million dollars per three years plus an option it's a pretty good deal i'd say now it comes at the cost of possibly losing nicola penese because they used the TAM from that loan deal that was there to put to Michael Bradley. But the good, the upshot of it is we, keep, we open a designated player spot. The third, technically the first if you want to split hairs. Because it was Bradley, then Javinko, then Altador, then Javinko's opened up. Then it then was filled by Pozuelo. Pozuelo, which that's technically the second. Which would mean the first one opened up, which is the third. But we don't have to split hairs here. All that matters is, is that spot is open and Michael Bradley has stayed in Toronto for less money. And whenever you look at this team, they do a lot better with that fourth, that fourth DP. Like Victor Vasquez back in 2017. Or I'd also say... In a way, Nicola Penese this past year slash Jonathan Osorio because he was starting to get back into form. They kind of merged into one, but it wasn't it wasn't like Vasquez or a Drew Moore in a sense. This team does a lot better when they have a, a extra fourth DP on Tam. I don't think Drew Moore was ever on Tam, but like. The four, a fourth bet, a fourth good player that's under DP status, but it's good enough to where they could be like, mm, yeah, they could be, they could be. That's Bradley now. That's Michael Bradley now. And also sounds like that Greg Vanny and Ali Curtis are in South America right now, looking for an attacking designated player to be Josie's backup slash support. Backup slash support. And they're going to go to Europe. They have four that they're looking at right now. That they're talking to. Four that they're looking at. We don't have any names yet. But we know where they're looking. South America and Europe. So probably Argentina. If I had to venture a guess. Argentina. Belgium. Spain. England. Somewhere around there. If I had to venture a guess where they're looking for that fourth DP. France, Belgium, Spain, Argentina, Brazil, or England. Why? Because that's where they normally go. I think we know by now where TFC goes for their DPs or their big players. It's France, Belgium, Spain, Argentina, mostly them. But there's also some Brazil I could see them going to England for a player that isn't English, but is is a foreign that's a little bit older or a little bit younger that could be good cover, but probably one of those five. But we're talking about Michael Bradley here, but I was talking about the upshot and the downshot of the deal. But Michael Bradley stays a Toronto FC player three years, $1.5 million per with an option, which I'm sure would be at $1.5 per um, perfect. I like the deal. I like the deal. People, some people are complaining that he didn't really take a discount. He's still got over market value for his age. But let's remember, he came off a $6.5 million per deal as a DP. I'm going to say that this is a pretty good discount. He wasn't coming in under TAM. There was no way. There was no way. Maybe a million. Maybe. But I knew it was going to be the full-on TAM. 
I knew it. I think everybody else knew it. I don't know what took so long, but I don't know what took so long, but he's he's still here. That's a good thing. Three years plus maybe a fourth, depending on what happens. I'll take it. And then it's a good thing to have him back. Why? Well, I think, I mean, I don't think anybody else was going to pay him like he wanted. Even his dad, but, even his dad, but, <laughs> were we basically unchallenged? Yes, but he had unfinished business with Toronto FC. What is that unfinished business, you may ask? A CONCACAF Champions League trophy. A Club World Cup trophy. Hell, we're in League's Cup this year. That's unfinished business. They haven't even started that business, but technically that's unfinished. So, League's Cup, Champions League, Club World Cup, and another MLS Cup, of course. And you have to win another Voyager's Cup to get into all of that. Or at least start to get into all of that. So, yeah. That's how that works. Which is kind of stupid because, honestly, I mean, Montreal or Vancouver can win the Canadian Championship and not be deserving of being in CONCACAF, but that's a whole other uh, conversation whatsoever. But uh, we won't talk about that right now. And yes, I was in the Champions League comments on the live stream. I know some of y'all saw me. Whether you were a Montreal fan fans watching this video wanting to complain that Caillou stayed or Toronto fans that watched the draw for some reason like me to put the knife in my own back because reasons. I know there were some of you Toronto fans watching that draw. I know. Um, just like me. Putting pain to myself because I don't know what else to do with my life. That make myself feel pain. It's kind of weird not to feel pain anymore, but now the Patriots are giving it to me. Weird. Okay, let's let's get off of that. Weird. But let's get off of that. I'm happy to see Michael Bradley stay. He's a great guy. Top man, top player. Not, I mean, you may not show on the score sheet, but he pro I think he had his career high in goals this year. Three. So, technically, it did. Um... Technically, a brace on the first day and then a goal against Cincy. Anybody could score against Cincy, but he had the heads up movement. He had the heads up play to score that goal, so that was something. But uh, top man, Michael Bradley, great guy. I'm happy he's staying. He wants to finish the unfinished business. I'm, I'm for it. And I hope within these three years that he also starts taking Fraser under his wing and they start including Liam Fraser in the 11 sometimes, whether it be Canadian Championship or even some lower MLS games, start rotating them. And I know that's going to be hard to, for Michael Bradley to want to do, but or even put him in a midfield block, a midfield two. That would be even better. And Bradley could start teaching Fraser a little bit more. And I, I'm cool with that, but I'm happy that Bradley stayed. Great player, great man, great, just a great person in general. And he is a general, the Yankee general, but good person. Happy that he stayed. He put this club on the map. And he, he did a lot for this club. And he still feels like there's unfinished business. And that's a great captain. Taking a sort of discount, whether you want to look at it that way or not, I say he took a discount. He took a discount to stay with the club he loves and the city that he loves where he's raising his kids, where his family is settled, and where he wants to finish business. So I love it. So if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. Caps back. I'm Ryan and I'm out. Peace. Talk to you later.